Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to Service Now 911. Today, in the series of CMDB, we discuss about cascade relationships. So, what is the meaning of cascade relationship? This is important if you are working on CMDB. You know, there is a parent and there is a child, right? You know what is a parent-child relationship? If you don't know, you can check out the other videos in my channel. Okay, so let's say a parent is there and there are various child. Okay, so in actual world, there is a change in the parent. And the associated impact is there on the child. But in CMDB, this update to the parent is not reflected in the child. Okay, let's say, uh, for example, we have a server and that server is retired. So it means in real world, the associated VMs are also destroyed or retired, right? But it is not exactly uh, reflected in CMDB. You can still see the server is retired, but the VMs are active. What is the meaning? So what is happening here? This is an inaccurate, incorrect information which is there in CMDB. And again, it will impact the cost. It will impact the organizational decisions, right? So what is the cascading thing here? It means that if anything happened to the parent, any change, any modification, any configurational change happened to the parent, it must be automatically reflected in the child's which is not happening right now in my exam. So this is the cascading relationship. Anything happening here in the parent, it should be automatically reflected in, in the child's as well. Because if it is not happening by any mean, it means the whole concept of CMDB is, you know, worthless. Because the CMDB is not providing you the blueprint of organizational structure. It is not updating uh, the attribute of the child according to the parents. So this is the meaning and importance of cascading relationship. You have the option to set up this in your CMDB. How to activate cascading effect in your CMDB, we will see in the next video. But for the time being, just understand this concept, assimilate this concept. The changes in the parent can be anything. It can be a configurational change. It can be a, a you know life change. It means it is retired or it is, you know, getting destroyed, something like that. Anything which is impacting, which is changing in the parent, it must be reflected in the child as well. So I hope you understand what is the meaning of it. If you have still any question, let me know in the comment section. I am providing you with this valuable content. So subscribe to it and wait for the next video. Thank you.